Today on the Justice Court, the plaintiff, Esther Dewumi, is suing Akim Kilani for the sum of 270,000 naira, being the loan principal and accumulated interest since 2017. All rise. Court in session. Honorable Judge Fumi Asaolu presiding. Please be seated. Your Honor, this case is between Mrs. Esther Dewumi and Akim Kilani. Party is one or not? Only one party. Yes, ma'am. Okay. I'm listening to you. Yeah. You are I... Esther Dewumi. Yes. You are the plaintiff. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So you brought Akim Kilani, but he's not here. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so what happened? On the 29th of May, 2017, he came to my house and borrowed 50,000 Naira. And he said he wants to use it to repair his Wait, car. Kilami, how did you meet him? How long ago have you met him? Well, where we were living before, he used to be our neighbor. Can you tell the court what you do for a living? When I stopped working with Carbell, I worked there for 19 years. And when they retired us in 2016, December, I decided to go into business. And that is why I have my certificate. What kind of business? Lending money. Lending money to people. Yes. Especially. Go your... Let me have a look at the license. That's you need a license from the Money Lenders Act. It's just regular CC. But you see, I said I would love to see even this company. It has some other documents. So the right document might be among them. Maybe you don't know how to separate it. It's inside my bag. No problem. The defendant is not even here. Before you leave the courtroom, just make sure you make the photocopies of everything. Okay. Either today or tomorrow. Okay. And get it across to the legal team. Okay. All right. So, he borrowed money. I didn't know him very much, but my husband knows him. So, he came to our place and pleaded that I should borrow him money. I told my husband that I'm not going to give him that this money is not made for business people, only made for salary people. He said the man is going to pay. That is a motor driver. That he just needed that money to buy a tire. I said, okay, no problem. That fateful day, I gave him 50,000 Naira. And Mountain, he didn't pay. What he did was, he vacated his house and went to another place. When I went there, the wife said, he's now living in Songo, married to another wife. And there's no way I can get him unless he come back to that place. So throughout that 2017, he didn't pay anything. 2018, he didn't pay anything. I have to go to police station, carry some policemen, and they came and arrested him. Took him to that. Yeah, at Ota. No, at he, he that. He came over to. Akuta. Yes, he came during one holiday, one Muslim holiday. They arrested him. So they now asked him to write undertaking. How he's going to pay the money? Before they left him that day, they asked him to go and pay some money, which he paid. 20,000 Naira out of that money. I know he borrowed that money with interest of 5,000 Naira per one month. Because I am a money lender, I have certificates for it. And he knew that each month the interest is 5,000 Naira. So he now paid only 20,000 Naira at the police station. And they asked him to pay another money. He never pay any other money. So, my Lord, it's all, 
only 20,000 Naira that he has paid since 2017 till now, which amounted to 48 months. So when you times 48 months times 5,000 Naira, that will give you 290,000 Naira. <laughs> 290,000 naira must minus 20,000 naira. In balance remain 270,000. That's how is what is owing me now. And when I called him, he will not be called. He will not be called. I go to his house. I will not see him. That is why I have to come here, my lord. Okay. The defendant is not in the court. After the break, Judge Fumi adjourns this matter. Now he's not here and I hope he's hearing you. And people will tell him and we still reach out to him as well. I won't pass any comments on your calculation of the money <laughs> until when he's around. Let's wait for him to come. So we we'll reach out to him and let you know so that you can meet face to face again. That's it. Thank you. I rise. All rise. Back in court with another debtor, the plaintiff, Esther Adewumi, is suing Adekunle Michael for the sum of 300,000 naira, a loan she advanced for his business. The defendant claims he suffered a loss in the business. All rise. Court in session. Honorable Judge Fumi Asaolu presiding. Please be seated. Your Honor, this case is between Mrs. Adewumi and Mr. Adekunle. Parties for a note. Thank you. You're welcome, Your Honor. Then Adekunle, I did that, your Michael. Yes, my Honor. You are the defendant here. Can you explain to me what transpired? Okay, ma'am. On the 8th, 10th of August 2018, he collected 300,000 naira from me. And since then, he refused to pay. Sometime when I call him, he will not pick up. I've reported him to the wife, to the mother. The wife told me that if he wanted to pay the money, he would have paid the money. Because he's living in a free house. He has a house. He also doing neighbor. He does not know why he does not want to pay the money. So that is the reason why I brought this case before you, before your, this honorable court. And beside that man, I've dragged him to police station. I reported him to police station. Before the COVID last year, they invited him, he came. He signed on that ticket that he's going to pay me my 300,000 Naira. As soon as he signed that uh, commitment, he locked down. Police called him, he said because of COVID. So till now, he didn't pay anything. And before then, he has sent me uh, 60,000, 4,000, 21,000, all together, 84,000 naira. So I was wondering why he's saying this money like a car money. And when I called him, he will not pick call. So I don't have any alternative. So when I watch your program, and I said, this is where I will get my judgment. And that's why I came. So right now, how much is outstanding? Well, of the three hundred thousand naira. Yes, ma. How much is outstanding? Since he had paid uh, eighty-four thousand naira, that means two hundred and sixty, two hundred and sixteen thousand is outstanding. Okay, so Mr. Adekunle Adidayo, um, can you narrate to me what transpired? Did you actually? You took a loan of 300,000 naira. Yes, ma'am, my own okay. And when you took the loan, what was your repayment plan with that? Uh, the repayment plan is like I'll be paying every month. How the much every month? 10,000 naira. That was the, the interest rates. 
I'm with talking the about the principal son. I'm okay. not going near the interest, right? Now. All right, now. I'm talking about the principal son. Okay. When you took the 300,000 naira. Yes, ma'am. How much out of the principal sum did you agree with that you'll be paying on monthly basis? Then well, how much did you agree on interest? I want the principal first. The, the, the plan is to pay the money in a month. Everything? Yeah, everything okay. in a month. Okay. But uh, he said I can renew it, which I concur with, and I go in line with that. So the renewal is like I will pay 1,000 naira for the renewal, which I did. And um, I think the following months, I started paying the interest. That's how I got to that stage of not being paying every month. So it's interest that you've been paying? Yes, ma'am. Not, you have not touched the principal? No, ma'am. So by your own calculation, how much do you believe you are holding now? Well, I believe I hold at 300,000. You're still in that 300,000, yeah. all in all. You agree with that? If she says so. Uh -huh. So when do you want to pay? Um, I, um, my plan is to have been paying this money since. I use that money for Paga business. So that Paga business is like um, suddenly I just lost more or less than a 1.2 million naira, which I go to bank and verify some certain things. Even I went to court to get some certain things done uh, due to a wrong transfer. Um, and some other things, which you cannot be realizing that money back. So I have to leave the business. So uh, I think last two years, I'm a telecom technician. So the job is not like before. That means me to be at home, not be able to pay that money. So when the police um, called me, they invited me to the police station. And I told them that presently I don't have certain amounts. But I'm hopeful there are some proposals I sent to some companies that I will pay this money in bulk. I will pay in small, small, small amount. But at the end of the day, with my, um, what's it called, the COVID, I could not secure the projects. Though they even called me around that December that they were still on top of the game. I'm going to do the project for them, which is one of the prominent companies in this country. So that's where I rely, my hope that if I do this project, I'll be able to pay our money back. So as from December uh, last year, I make a contribution on a daily basis, a weekly basis. If I have anything, I put inside the contribution that at the end of the month, I want to say something, since it's like I've not been able to achieve all these projects, which I think I'm, I'm on the way. The plaintiff alleged that the defendant has capacity to pay off, but he has not been committed towards the loan payment. She claims Adekunle Michael lives in an apartment free of rent and has side income from Uber. The defendant, a telecom technician, says he is hoping to execute a contract very soon and the loan will be paid thereafter. You heard what he said. Are you prepared to wait for... Him until when he gets the project is not at all, ma. You heard that? Yes, ma. That make me to make an alternative. What's the alternative? To be making a contribution. So what when are you? Be? When will it be to? You, when will it be your time to? I'm looking at the end of this month, ma. So how much will you be collecting at the end of the month? I don't know how much is inside the contribution box. Inside the contribution box, but hopefully it will be a substantial amount. I don't understand. Oh, you have a contribution box in the house that you yeah. drop on it? Yes. In your own house, not like people came together. No, 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 no. no. I don't do that. I've done that. It doesn't pay me. <laughs> That's neither here nor there. If you open it and you see only 6,000 naira there. <laughs> you are the one that dropped the money there. So if you that dropped the money there don't have an idea of what is inside, that does, you are not being truthful. I expect you to be able to say, I'm sure. I have at least 100,000 naira there by now. No, I just started. Oh, I have. You just started. So about how much do you think is there? Well, I don't think you go up to 10,000 naira. OK. And you want to pay this month end? I will, ma. You want to pay 300,000 this month end? Not this month, ma. I'm not paying everything, ma. I don't have the capacity to pay her. How do you intend to pay her? That's my question. Well, I'm when? Looking at... When, how much? When and how much, ma? Yes. Well, I'm looking at my contribution trainer every week. Then with the contribution I want to make, 
with a group of people, maybe paying a five five thousand naira. You want to pay a five five thousand mm -mm. naira contribution? All these ones, I'm not bothered about how you want to raise the money. Okay, that's your own business. Okay, ma'am. That's not my own business. My business is just for you to tell me how much you intend to pay her. Are you paying everything once? No, ma'am. Are you paying by installments? Okay, ma'am. If it's going to be by installment, when do you want to start paying? How much do you want to start paying? Ma, and for how long? My honorable man. That is all. I want to pay monthly, ma. Okay. He wants to pay you monthly. Right? My honor, I don't agree. I want to work weekly. Since he's riding over, let him be paying me weekly. You heard her. She wants weekly. My honorable man. The weekly sub is like um, I'm not the owner of the car. And I'm paying back is a rentage car. And since two weeks ago, I've not been working. But wait, how much do you want to be paying on a monthly basis? Hold on. I'm on like 20,000 or 30. Oh. You want to be paying 20, 30. You want to be paying 20, between 20 to 30,000. Yes, ma'am. That's my minimum point. of 20,000 naira yes, on a monthly basis. Yes, ma'am. I advise you to opt for monthly, not weekly. Yes. Because. Um, Experience with Uber, you just said it. There are some weeks they might not work at all. But the bottom line is, once he starts working, he knows how much he's paying at the end of the month. He has four weeks to raise your money for you to have that complete money. Um, the only thing that I need your consent on is whether what he's proposing is acceptable to you. Mama. How much do you want? I want him to use like three or four months to clear that money. And if he's going to be paying me monthly, let him pay me 75000 My honor, do you know the reason? I'm not the owner of this money. I'm going through stress. Every day I don't sleep. Because the owners of this money, they're on my neck. I have chest pain. And it's one of them. It's not only this one, my honor. I don't know this guy very much. The person that made me to meet him also took my 300,000 and disappeared to the empty air till now. And that is why he had to have the same opportunity to come and collect his own. So they have been taking my advantage. And the people that own this money said, I don't mean it's like you are sharing this money. You are sharing this money. So, ma, let him sort money and pay me 75000 because he's not paying for house rent. That's number one. If anybody is in Lagos is not paying for house rent, he's a big person. So let him look for money. I pay house rent, 500000 naira in a year. He is not paying. He's living in a free house. Let him sort 75000 naira and give me monthly. And let him document it because I, I, the, the moment for some years now I've met him, he does not talk straight. And that is the reason why I brought this matter before this honorable court. I've watched your program. I've seen the way you discuss with people, and I was very elated. So let him tell me that he will be paying 75000 nothing less than that, because he has the capacity. My Lord, the day he came to police station, if he sealed the perfume he put on, my Lord, even the police that was in charge of the case said, ah, Mr. Sadewumi, this guy don't want to pay you this money. Look at the perfume and the cloth that he put on. You will know that he does not want to pay this money. I'm not exaggerating. I'm telling you from the right, from the back, or from the heart of my heart. The stress is I'm going through is so much, my Lord. So let him rescue me from this problem. So you heard what she just said. What's your response to that? <laughs> just a pity the way we know each other, ma'am. Very painful. Very, very painful. As I said, my honorable earlier, as a technician, telecom technician, um, I do collect projects. 
a subcontractors. That's what I'm living on. And the house we are, I'm not the owner. We are just stay there because of something wrongs with my works. That makes us to stay there. It's not for life. It's not my house. So um, the person that he also said, I met him at school then and uh, had it to my uh, Facebook friends. That's where he got to know that, okay, I know this man. Uh, I don't have a good relationship with the person. That's not the person that introduced me to her. It's another person that introduced me to her. When I go to his house, it's like, um, we discuss it at length. We discuss at length on a business um, discussion. And he was so interested. So it's like, my request is for 500,000 euros for Paga money, uh, mobile banking. That's the purpose of collecting that money from her. So the top person that introduced me to her is not around. And he said, I should wait. I personally said I should wait. But it's like, take this money, take this money, and go. Um, due to that, I have to collect the 300,000 euro, and I left. Yes, the issue is like, assuming that I have the project out there, I will have paid this money, as I said, my Lord, earlier. But the project is not coming forth. And I cannot be um, borrowing money, and I will not be paid. I have a lot of money outside there. Up to now, they are not paying me. So I can't be doing that again, running up and down. As I am today, I have not been well for the past one week. I was given injection, um, three drips of uh, stuff yesterday, and six injections yesterday. If I don't want to come, I won't be able to come this morning. Even my wife is like, where are you going? Why can't you call them that you will not be able to make it? So my uh, plea is like, you should please, with the time, I will pay her. What do you have to say to that? There's no time. <laughs> There's no time. And then, mister, Ma. I want you to be realistic too. You understand me. Um, I'm not saying he's not going to pay you. He has to pay you everything. When do you want to start paying? This month, ma'am. So, 30,000 naira. The only thing I'm going to come in on is I want you to be paying 30,000 naira on a monthly basis, which is not even acceptable to her. But the way I'm going to go around it is they're talking about 300,000 naira. Yes. The court will advance 150,000 naira to you. Because of the put put that you said are pulling you right, left, and center. Then you start paying 30,000 naira to her from this month. So that's the way it's going to be. My Lord, ma. What do you have to say? Sorry. Um, we have one week left. So I won't like to disappoint her with the 30,000 naira. I thought you told If I can pay 15 for this month. For this month. Yes, ma. I will appreciate it. All right, pay 15. Thank you very Collect much. Collect 150. Then from next month, we start collecting 30. I'm very grateful. No. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Judge Fumi helps both parties to reach amicable settlement. She rules after the break. So this is my judgment. The judgment for the plaintiff for the sum of 300,000 naira. The defendant is to start paying, to pay 15,000 naira at the end of this month to the plaintiff, and thereafter, sum of 30,000 naira on monthly basis. Judgment for the plaintiff. All rise. Have you been cheated or have a dispute and want justice? Don't take laws into your hands. Log on to www.thejusticecourt.com and submit your case.